Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan! Yes. We brought a treat. A uh, dark treat. Ooh! Yes. yes. I hope you like dying, uh, because I brought you Dark Souls the board game. Yes. I'm a big fan of the Souls. Are games. you? Yes. Have you played any of them? I have played Good. some of them. Not some all of them. Of them. Plus there's like spiritual successors and stuff. I'm yeah. not getting any of that. Yeah. You've got Dark Souls. Yes. And as you will find out, uh, it's actually a good good board game interpretation of the video uh-huh. games, I think at least. So. Cool. Uh, yeah, and this was a Kickstarter. It was one of those yes. like success stories. It was hugely bad. It's uh, done by Steamforge, the yes. guys that did Guild Ball. Mm-hmm. So, yep. so yeah. I can't wait to show you. The minis are cool. Um, yeah. Can I be honest? I actually got to see a little teaser of this when I was at LVO. Um, it looks awesome. So yeah. I am really pumped to finally... It's finally out, right? Yes, in yeah. stores. In stores. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's take a look inside Dark Souls the board game. All right, it's Dark Souls the board game. Yes. Pretty excited about this one. Let's flip it over real yeah. quick. Show off how, Show off how wide it is, first off. Yeah, oh yeah, this wide. is a big, yeah, yeah, this is a big, game. wide game. So, lots of stuff in this box. Yes. Uh, showing off the minis, uh, they're cool so minis. Excited. I can't wait to show them off. Yeah. Uh, but also the setup over here, it is a dungeon delver with tiles that expand in the dungeon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you ready? Oh, I am. I am more than ready, my friend. Let's this do is it. this is one I've been looking forward it's to for a game while. Too. You feel that way? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It has got a lot of weight to it. It's right, a lot of cool stuff inside. So. Crack it open. I'm slowly unveiling the Dark Souls. Here we go. Oh, you died! All right, just off the bat. <laughs> well, we can't play this anymore. Nope. This is a classic, by the way. The the classic uh, screen when you die in Dark Souls. And this is just a sheet. This Get is used to for it. decoration. Get used yeah. to it. So, ooh, I like the packaging. Yeah. That's, that's really nice. Uh, it is an English company. That makes so. sense. Yeah. Steamforged. Yeah. All right, we've got. We'll go through this in a minute. We'll put this to the side right. for now. Uh, uh, where so do you want to start, man? There's start with the boxes box. and boxes. So let's get this big box out. All right. So. Pull that one out there. Okay. I like how they section it off. That's nice that's, and organized. That's pretty nice. All right, we've got another one here too. Mm-hmm. We'll put that to the side. We've got the rule book. We'll talk about it and we'll flip through it real quick. Right. Later. And we've got dungeon tiles. tiles. All right, we've got they're quite pretty, a few. They're pretty big tiles too. I like yeah. That. Yeah. So. Uh, just a quick spoiler, those are like where the bosses and stuff move. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, different sections. And there's quite a few tiles. There bosses are front and enemies, back. Yeah. And the bosses and enemies, you don't. The, the game plays for them out of, through a deck system. Yeah, it's AI. Yeah, it's AI. So it's not. So you get lots of different tile designs yeah. and stuff. Oh, look, the campfire. That's beautiful, too. I love that. Yeah, wow. Artwork. It's like photorealistic, set, sort of. Yeah. Or like 3D, 3D art. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool stuff. All right. So lots of different tiles here. Mm-hmm. Here's one. A couple, couple more sets, I guess. We got a lot in there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we got punch outs. Punch outs. Yeah. So there's all the different tiles. Pretty cool looking. All right. Punch outs time. Oh man. So we We've have got dials and punch outs. Dials for sure. These are what are they called again? Uh, those are cestus flasks. Cestus flasks. All right. Sweet. So when you're damaged, you can drink. Right. Those. those are like the health potions, kind of. Basically. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you're out, notice. Oh, yeah. Notice too when you when you flip them over. When oh, you use you're them. out of them. Yeah. yeah I like got to double sided at the yeah. bonfire. So. Oh, we've got another hidden couple of. Uh, Tiles. Tiles. Oh, but dungeons will always be different. <laughs> that is very true. They're hard to get out, man. Square box, square peg. All right. Um, here All right. Those. Uh, I think those are player boards. There's another yes. tile here as well. Okay. So these are player boards. Um, right off the bat, we can show off like this is your health and stamina area. Uh, stamina starts at the black side. Health starts at the red side. If ever they meet, that's when bad you die. Bad yeah, time. bad times. So you you have to watch both your stamina and your health. And there's um, there's there's four different players, right? We have yeah. the assassin here. Who else? Yeah, uh, we got assassin, the knight. I've got the herald. Herald. No. Are, are we missing one? Oh wait, wait. It's underneath, right? It's underneath. Uh. Yep. Connected. Oh, just connect. Flip that connect one. Connect four. All right. And, and the, warrior. the warrior. All right. So each one of these guys has a different battlefield role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, the knight had more base armor, and the warrior did like slightly more damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Assassins kind of. Yeah, it's squishy, but does a lot of damage, I'm sure. Yeah, and yeah. I forget what the Herald did, but you one, get the idea. One design thing I want to point out too, uh, I love how you can punch these out and the, you put squ- you know wooden square pegs, which we'll show yeah. off later. That way they don't slide around, so yeah. you can always like make sure you know what level you are and certain things. Because you know, sometimes games do that where you just you set something down on there, but you actually bump into it. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's a really nice design. I do want to point out a couple things too. Mm-hmm. Uh, just comparing these real fast, we've got the Assassin here. If you look at the stat lines. Uh, they are actually different. Yes. So each character does have their own unique flavor and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, abilities and things like that. On top of that, uh, 
Dark Souls is a pretty, I would say it's a pretty gear intensive game. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. So you've got different gear slots and things like that that you can actually equip as you <clears throat> journey through the dungeon and yeah. level up and stuff. So pretty cool things and going on there. Another thing too uh, we should talk about is they are talking a lot about expansions. They're definitely yes. going to be adding more characters, more bosses, uh, more items, especially. Probably so, more tiles. Or yeah. So these four classes aren't going to be what's yeah. always there. Yeah. There will be more. Now we're getting to the main. Wow. I really like the packaging Nothing on this. I know that's a weird thing yeah. to say, but. So here are those pegs you were talking about. Yeah. There's your the stamina squares. and your, your The black health. one's the stamina, a red one's health, and then the white one's are the status or yep. the levels. So you get a ton of pegs, you're going to yeah. go there. Uh, these are for the, you know, the, the dials. dials. And we're going to zoom in on these, these yeah. models real quick because these are really cool looking. I'm going to pop it. Plastic off. So these are the boss and the mini boss uh, characters. Now I don't know wow. the, all the names, but I know this guy is like one of the mini bosses. Um, <laughs> Here, I'll move these to the side. We can see if it focuses. Look at it this time. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Can you focus it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, they're really good uh, minis. Uh, some fine detail to it. Um, some players will like the fact that you don't have to assemble it, but some players will also like the fact that they're unpainted, so you can paint them yourself, yeah. customize it yourself. Uh, so it's a good, nice hobby aspect to this game as well. You're all upside down there. <laughs> there we it's go. all good. But yeah, totally awesome looking sculpts. Yeah. And these are nice big bases too. Mm -hmm. um, if you are a, uh, say you're like D&D &D player or something like that, yeah. these would make great bosses for your D&D &D game. So there's one. That's an, so that guy's another, yeah, we've got another mini boss here. Another boss. Super cool sculpt. Yeah, so Look the game that. comes with four uh, mini bosses and two of uh, the main bosses. I love the detail on the wings, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the detail on these models is really. Oh, he's got the chain axe on his tail, the go. axe on his tail. So very cool. And I look. Oh, you can tell the crazy scroll uh, scry work on the uh, scroll work on yeah. the, uh, the shield too. On the shield, it's really pretty cool detail. Each one of these bosses, by the way, has their own deck. Yes. So yeah. they mm -hmm. do different things. They're gonna do different move sets. They're gonna go after different people. That sort of thing. Wow. Like some bosses will go after the closest member. Some yeah. bosses will go after specific members. Some some will go after range. Some will charge yeah, the farthest exactly. person away and try to hit uh, them. And they, the game developers we're talking about, they they kept the decks to make sure that the move sets really matched the characters in the game. Um, so that's yeah. a really good thing. Yeah, really cool looking. Again, even from the top down, they look big and imposing. Yeah, I mean I have like small that, hands, so. but like that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here here's an example. Let me give her a tile real quick. Oh sure, yeah yeah. So here's a tile. Just putting them on the tile, that's kind of how it works, yeah. right? And we could definitely compare it to the mini guys, which we'll show in a second. Yeah, but so yeah. you can see here how they're going to look on the board. Here's another one, awesome looking mini. Yeah. Just really well done. I like the poses too. It's not like your standard, like, he's just standing there. Right, yeah, <laughs> This yeah. one's crouched over with like, the sword these back. these guys are ready to fight. Yeah. yeah. Very cool looking, very intimidating. And just, it feels very much like Dark Souls. Here's another one. Oh, wow. Like the little wings on the back. Yeah, The little Kusar. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel wings. Very cool looking skull. There's a lot of detail on this mm -hmm. axe, by the way. It's like chipped and, and mauled up. It's yeah, it's, really it's cool. been in use. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And you can also base these guys if you really want to as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. The uh, the big thing, though, is the um, the cross section there yeah. on the base is actually used in the game to determine facing. So that, oh, okay. a, that doesn't that makes matter. Sense. Okay, so, yeah. So um, you don't want to cover that when you base. Right. Yeah. Let me right, get the other minis out. I'm going to crack this open as well. Yeah, while you're doing that, let's go over the. Here's the other set of miniatures. So we've got our heroes and then just random baddies throughout the dungeon. So um, I'll kind of leave them in the box. I don't, yeah. Uh, yeah, here we'll do one. Well, this guy in the middle right here, he's one of the main bosses as well. He's yeah. paired up with this guy. I can't remember their name, but they're like a pair in the yeah. game. Um, but yeah, you'll have just the main baddies. Uh... So they again, they look like they're on 25 mil bases. Mm -hmm. So. Again, if you're playing on a, a typical D and D one inch grid, yeah. they're perfect for D and D as well. And you want to do a size, size comparison? Yeah, 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 this totally. Is probably the biggest one. This yeah. is the biggest boss, and compare Just it to this guy. To down. Yeah, so they're they're pretty big. So the bosses, and then, I mean. Here's another example on a tile. Right. So typically you'll have the boss on a tile. These represent um, kind of the zones. Yeah. You can have a certain number of model sizes, base sizes per zone. So the boss obviously like that, and then. These guys are gonna go yeah. area to area, so because yeah, these are your player characters, so yeah. this is you can this is what you're going against. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the size difference there is yeah. pretty pretty crazy. Um, yeah, these are really great sculpts, man. Overall, I'm yeah, I'm like happy it. with them. Let's see what these cards I'm taking this home, by the way. You're not getting it back. Oh. Well, you can pay me if you want. <laughs> we'll take a credit right. card, right? Um, 
All right, what a, and then yeah. this is the other pack. We got some right? other packs here. It comes in this nice little case. Um, got yeah. the items and stuff like that. So the weapons, mm -hmm. like Claymore and whatnot. Um, don't know what this is. Oh, these are uh, ghostly keep. I think this shows you like when you when you are searching an area, it shows you what you're deploying. To fight oh, okay. Against. And this kind of uh, uh, shows like the melee uh, starting zone, the range starting zone, and then like on the special areas there. Yeah. So, um, let me pull out another tile. Hopefully, that's a boss fight tile. Hang on. Here's a good example. So basically, like when you come to this area, I believe you draw the card to see the encounters, and then this one will have. Uh, two melee guys on the melee area, oh, okay. a ranged guy on the ranged area, and then these two special icons will have those two things. Right, so okay. It's kind of how that works. And this is all randomized as well, so it's pretty cool. Now, or, or actually, it's interesting, you can actually set the dungeon based on the encounters, so like, yeah. you can pick these out and determine your, your actual, yeah. Now these Union Jacks are here because they don't want to show you what the cards are. Bingo. Uh, to keep it fresh and new, so. Those are gonna... those are probably going to be your AI decks. Yeah, and, uh, and, well this uh, one's the boss items. deck. Uh, yeah. You can see what it does, so like you'll draw a card, it'll tell you which direction they're going to go mm -hmm. uh, and stuff like that, what what kind of attack they're going to do, what what they're going to attack, pacing, yeah, yeah, what pacing they're going to do. So that's that's the AI system for the big bosses. Yeah, uh, It's actually a really cool system. Yeah. Um, here's an example, again, of some weapons. This is the St. Tears Spear. Yeah. And it has all the stats and things like that. So. And they use the same artwork from the game, too. Yeah. So that's a really cool, cool touch as well. Yeah. Um, you want to go ahead and pause real quick? We have and, the dice uh, real quick. Oh, we'll show off real quick. dice. Dice for sure. The different color dice represent, you can go ahead and open these up. Yeah. Different color dice actually represent the different probabilities for getting stuff. Yeah, okay. So like, I see here's a This dodge. one has a lot more swords on that than this one. Yeah, has. so yeah. this is this is a pretty, this is a blue die. So I think the um, black die are fewer sword results. Mm -hmm. The orange die are the most sword results. So mm -hmm. this one has like a four on right. it versus the blue, which are kind of in the middle. So as you upgrade your weapons and technique or gears and stuff like that, yeah, you roll more dice of different color and different style. This is, uh, I believe, the dodge. So oh, yeah, right, right, and then defensive, defensive dodge attack. Okay, mm -hmm. so. pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, did you see a rule book? Yes, this, we put it over. Okay, there's the rule book. We're gonna cut real quick, and we're gonna take a look at the rules. Here are the Dark Souls rules. Uh, we're gonna flip through this real quick. We're yeah. not gonna go through everything. There's, no. There's, there's not a lot of stuff in the book, no. but it's, um, it's part of the fun actually. Yeah, part of the learning. <laughs> uh, I mean, and you don't need to know all like the. Nitty gritty stuff right yeah. away. So I mean, like, like here's the basic it. layout real fast. Yeah. You've got your contents, your introduction. It is Dark Souls. Yeah, and it's kind of a backstory to the game. Yeah. It's good because the game actually helps people who've never played the video games before. It kind of yeah. has a lot of lore and backstory in the, this rule book, yeah. as we'll see. Uh, here's a breakdown of all the contents. Yep. So, your heroes, your villains, your bosses, mm -hmm. mini bosses. Going through uh, more stuff. The game does come with a lot of yeah, treasure cards, treasure card, how to, yeah, all the different icons. It's going to be a quick breakdown. If you're ever confused or lost about, hey, what, what does this icon actually mean? Yeah. There you go. Flip to this page or there's stuff on the back, yep. but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's see. We have how to set up, of course, like any other game. Uh, and then you can choose your character. Again, the characters are unique. They'll do, they have different stats, they'll do different abilities, stuff like that. So yes. it is important to choose which character you'd like to play. And again, the movement nodes, we, mm -hmm. we kind of touched on this a little bit. This yeah. is just the basics. Again, uh, this shows here uh, legal moves and things like that. Yeah. Each one of those little circles on the tiles, let me show you again. Again, those are each one of those are, are a node. And then check here for the fine minutia of like, how many models can fit on a node and right. like that. So we won't get into all that, but that's what that that's what that's all about. So uh, equipment breaks yeah. it down that. Uh, of course it's very important. And then of course for, for example, real quick, yeah. the great X here talks about your your die. Um, oh right. Yeah, the your die stats for it. Yeah. Different stats mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think you can actually spend stamina to swing again, which is why Right, There's different okay. stats. You can also spend stamina, like if you're if you have an enemy swing at you, mm -hmm. uh, you can spend stamina, I think, again to roll again if you already roll. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember exactly, but yeah. I believe you can actually, yeah, right. Spend stamina to re-roll dice or things like right. that. Right. So. Uh, bonfire tile. It just tells you like specific items or, or areas on the bonfire where you can go to upgrade and stuff like that. Yeah. This is your your home base. Home base. Yeah. So. Every time one player dies, everyone goes back to the bonfire. Yeah. So it's important to like work it's important together. not to keep. Yeah, work together, but also like make sure your teammates are okay. Yeah. Uh, and you kind of. You want to do PvP? Out. Do it on your own time. <laughs> right. <This> is co-op. <laughs> or you can play it by yourself. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
so this can go, uh, you know, just the blacksmith, all side of the, yeah. what each each section of the uh, yeah. bonfire. Just like in Dark Souls, you mm -hmm. spend your souls upgrading yeah. your stats. Like the firekeeper like will upgrade exactly. exactly. you. Yeah. So. Going on, uh, we have the exploration, how to explore, how to, how more tiles are added on. Yeah. Um, your your basic card encounters, like I mentioned, like you, there are different levels to the different types of encounters that can make up your your kind of encounter, um, your encounter pool, I yeah. guess, for lack mm -hmm. of a better word. So, um, yeah. It, it's, it's these type of cards. You just right. depending on, on the adventure. We'll get to actually. Can we skip over to the uh, if you want to play like of an adventure from the from the game, one of the games. Uh, it's next guys. Uh, so there's uh the uh campaign, which yeah. is very much. So this is like for instance, this is the like campaign for this section, which is from the video game. Yeah. Uh, and you can do section by section, and it'll just tell you yeah, how like, it's. Like this is exactly what it's talking yeah. about. It shows you. It tells you what tile to use, the different levels of the encounters to use, yeah. and then the boss at the end. Yeah. So that's what I was saying earlier about like, you know, the different types of level mm -hmm. encounters. So and so from the system and like how it plays, and also just from this, it does give to the players of the video game. Yeah, uh, it's gonna yeah. be familiar for them. It's nice. Um, going on. Yeah, you don't have to be a big fan of the video game to jump in. Yeah, and that's like, another this thing. This is yeah. pretty open, like like everyone was saying. It does have some introduction, introductory stuff for uh, non-fans of the video game. Right. But uh, it's the same universe, so if you are a fan, it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna reinforce. For someone who just stuff. wants like a good dungeon delver cooperative yeah. game, this is a really good game for them. For sure. Um, and then we have encounters. Uh, a lot of things. the a lot of the monsters have uh, a lot of the bad guys have their set activations yeah. and stuff like that. So you kind of learn like how they're gonna um, engage you and how you can overcome those. Again, it's a big cornerstone of the Dark Souls series. Mm -hmm. Dark Souls series is all about figuring out how things attack and how to defeat those. Right. And this game does a really good job of of kind of teaching you as you go. Mm -hmm. it, without without coming out and telling you, it, it will bloody you up, but once oh, yeah. you figure out how the attacks kind of work. Right. Um, and there's, there's a random chance too, as well. So yes, exactly, dice yeah. are involved. So just because you know like, oh, this guy's gonna move it's this way, side, yeah. this turn doesn't mean that um, you're gonna be able to move to counter mm -hmm. him and automatically kill it. You, yeah. gotta, you gotta get some dice involved too. So <laughs> there's a little bit of random chance. Uh, combat basics, of course. There's and like we talked about earlier, uh, you have your stress side or strain side, stamina side, stamina, I'm sorry, yeah. and then health side. But when they meet, that's when you yeah. die. Uh, or if one side just gets all the way to the yeah. end, or the other opposite. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a pretty cool system actually. Mm -hmm. um, and there are ways to to lower both of them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you take damage, there's ways to reduce your your red your your health pool damage back to full, and then there's ways to regain stamina. Too, yeah. So. Uh, and just like in the game, you can push enemies away. Yep. There's also conditions like bleed, poison, frostbite, and stagger. Yeah. Uh, so very good there. Uh, character activations. Um, this kind of goes over the player's turn. Thing yeah. Mm -hmm. How you how players move, how they activate, mm -hmm. um, how your attacks work. This enemy is, activations. This is what yeah. I was talking about too. The enemy the enemy bosses yeah. have uh, activation decks. Yeah. What's cool is after you, I think it's when you get the boss to about half. Mm -hmm. You basically take all of their activations to the side. And shuffle them, yeah, and then it all becomes random. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. it's a cool way to, because uh, uh, you kind of know you, you may have seen some of their abilities as you're fighting the boss, but then once you get them to the halfway point, they go in rage mode basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and suddenly it's all random, so you don't know. <laughs> so For even sure. if yeah, you, yeah. even if you know the pattern, you don't know the pattern now. So. And it'll tell you like which way to move, who's in attack. Yeah, uh, it goes over that. Uh, boss encounters, uh, what boss you're fighting, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, behavior cards. That's what we were kind of talking about earlier. Uh, and it's it is very much designed like like an AI system with yeah. the decks. So refer to this page to see how to resolve mm -hmm. specific effects. And like you talked about earlier, the the cross section on the basing yeah. uh, that is their arcs. Yep. Uh, it's like X wing or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. within the arc. Is how it's yep. done. Um, just, just all the boss bases. Yeah. This is kind of a big part of the game, so mm -hmm. that's pretty in depth to go through and yeah. talk about. Uh, I love that the fact that the, a lot of the art is from the these big screenshots are from mm -hmm. the games. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and then we go going back to the campaign rules. Uh, how you build your own campaign. The campaign is like if you don't want to do like a single game um, dungeon delve, you can do multiple yeah. games, and that's how it goes into here. Like there's section one, section two. The, yeah. Think of them like sessions. Yeah. Uh, like in D and D, like you want to do a session here, a session there. Right. Right. And it's just progress through the campaign. Sure, so sweet. there it comes with one, two. Two campaigns right off the bat. Uh, more, they said more will be added on with the yeah. expansions. Um, and so. You could also just go nuts and do yeah. it randomly. If you but like from looking at this, like this is 
three sessions for one campaign, three sessions for another campaign. That's a lot of like play. Yeah. Though. So I mean, we're talking. What was it like uh, two 90, hours? Yeah, ninety to one hundred twenty minutes is what they say. Yeah. It, is. Uh, it might seem a half, tiny bit longer for like new players, but uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is more like of an afternoon game. This is like you have to plan yeah. it out, but it's it's a. It's a good cooperative game. It's good, I guess good you could together. run through the whole campaign in one go. If, if you, you want had to, a whole yeah. Saturday to spend. Yeah, so. yeah. It's like yeah. the uh, Twilight Imperium kind of oh, like yeah. <laughs> situation. Everyone asks off for work for eight hours. You know, it's right, like right. for thing. I'm feeling sick. We're just <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> that's um, pretty much. That's pretty much everything, right? Yeah. There's, there's this, this last page. page. You can photocopy this, and it'll keep track of your campaigns for you, or you can keep track of your campaigns on it. Yeah. And of course, like most rule books, there is a quick guide on the back. Right. Super handy. Yeah. Probably the most used book uh, page in the book. Page once book, you're yeah, done. Yeah. For sure. So. Yeah, but that's right. that's pretty much everything for Dark Souls. Let's hop yeah. out for a really fast recap. Well, that was Dark Souls, the board game. Yes. I can't wait to jump mm -hmm. in, man. Yeah, it's a really cool game. Um, yeah. I love the fact it's a good dungeon delver. Yes. Um, those are just really good games. It's a nice yeah, cooperative yeah, yeah. game. And uh, it's it's hard challenging with, like, one, for instance, when one character dies, you all have to go back to the bonfire. I, really I, love, I love the mechanic. It, it really is, like, a team effort to mm -hmm. beat it. Yeah. And, like... They at LVO they mentioned like there could be maybe some PV stuff later or what maybe <clears throat> but whatever we'll see the the point is this game really does capture I think the essence of Dark Souls which is yeah. the bosses are tough the the dungeons are unforgiving but at the same time once you kind of learn how things work mm -hmm. you can overcome those things and that's kind of like the keystone I think for a good Dark Souls game is it's really hard and unforgiving yeah not a lot of clues how to do stuff it's super rewarding but it is super yeah. rewarding once you get it knocked out mm -hmm. so let's crunch the numbers on this bad boy right. real fast. Uh, this is Dark Souls the board game yeah. from Steam Forge. This is one to four, one to four, one players. to four players. So you can buy uh, play by yourself. Yes, you can. Uh, how many? What's what's the average play time on this one? Uh, it's usually ninety to one hundred twenty minutes. It's a okay. longer game. It's a good afternoon game, but it's what yeah. you expect from like a board game this size with that many minis. Yeah, and yeah. it is ages fourteen and up. Yeah, obviously for the content. Mm -hmm. um, What's the uh, price point on this bad Retail board? price is one hundred and twenty dollars. Totally worth it. Very good for the. <laughs> well, I mean, just like the replayability is very oh, yeah. good, and uh, like we talked about earlier, they're gonna be bringing out a lot of expansions, adding more bosses, more oh, yeah. items, more characters. So it's it's an investment with a future. Basically. It totally is, and yeah. of course, all those really cool minis. Uh, even if you don't necessarily want to play them in this board game, they make awesome minis for yeah. other games like D and D and things like yeah. that. So totally worth oh, it for my sure. opinion. Yeah. So. Go check it out. It's in stores right now, right? Yes. Just came out. Came out in the stores. Go yeah. check it out. I'm Adam here from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics Fantasy. And this is another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.